Okay, let's let's now try to uh, go to the point where we understand what soft story soft story is. Let me draw a three-story frame. This is the level of beam at the ground, the first and then is the top. Now you see in this uh, in this structure when a force due to earthquake in horizontal direction, lateral direction F is applied, the whole structure is going to deflect. Let me draw an exaggerated view of this. something like that now you see the displacement at the first level is let's say okay now you see this red dotted is the deflected frame because of the earthquake loading in the horizontal direction by force F now let me draw the uh, exaggerated view of this top floor, uh, top floor, top story, so that we can easily understand what actually is happening. This is the deflected shape let me take the top displacement as delta 1 and the displacement at the second level as delta 2 now if you see over here so this actually means the top roof moved delta 1 inches let's say 2 inches 3 inches in the left direction whereas the delta 2 is the displacement of the next lower level it moved little smaller than the first deflection delta let's take delta 1 as 4 inches delta 2 probably let's say is 3 inches now the displacement of this top point with respect to the first point is actually delta 1 minus delta 2 and if you see I have drawn this vertical line so this portion is actually delta 1 minus delta 2 let me assume that this difference is actually x1 so this x1 is the uh, displacement which this column this column has to actually undergo this x1 is going to insert exert a force on this column and this column should be strong enough to take that so when I'm doing the analysis, I am designing my column for this x1 displacement. Now on the other hand, in reality, what I explained earlier, somehow if we put intentionally or unintentionally by my mistake, contractor's mistakes, the user's mistake, if I put a wall, this is a wall in this level what will happen is when I apply the load there technically would be either 0 delta 1 delta 1 be 0 at the top and the delta 2 probably 0 at the first uh, at the next lower level it may not be 0 but it will be significantly small or maybe 0 so what will actually happen what will actually happen what will actually happen a building in which there are walls there are walls at these this level and this level when there is a literal force f applied the whole this all of this big upper stories with thick walls which will not allow these columns to deflect overall will going to move in this horizontal direction because of the literal loading and these columns I, as you have already understood these two columns 
are not going to be deflected they will be just standing still without knowing that what is happening whereas this ground story columns should go under a huge displacement delta which probably let me say very loosely should be the total displacement which all the columns are experiencing whereas this column is will not be able to withstand that huge big displacement so you will see that these columns are going to collapse the whole system will collapse in a way it will come down to ground and this is called a soft story collapse so conclusion if the designer is designing the frame without walls in reality the walls should not be there but if you have to put the walls please put some gap of some flexible material between the wall and the columns otherwise you have to design it for these walls to be included in your analysis and that would result in huge strong big columns so easier way is to have a typical ordinary structure not too thick columns at the base but you just put very accurately these soft openings between the wall and the column thank you